Hello YouTube, my name is Andy Fresh, and today we're going to be cooking. And to help me cook today, because this is usually a two-man job, I brought along a friend, uh, Jersey Hicks. What's up YouTube, Jersey Hicks. Um, me and Jersey Hicks already made this, uh, made one batch of this today. We're going to be, we're going to be making the Jordan Spizite. The Jordan Spizite is a combination of all different ingredients of the Jordan line. We already made one batch earlier, and this is how it came out, so we're going to show you guys how to make this exact model and colorway. This is the OG Jordan Spizite, the white cement colorway. And if you look here, you can see all the different ingredients of the, that are added up to one. You have the midsole and the outsole from the Jordan 3. You have the wings on the side from the Jordan 4 model. You have a lot of the upper pieces around the heel and the window of the Jordan 5 model. You'll see here, you also have the lace lock from the Jordan 5. You have the under the laces here, the inner tongue, the upper tongue with the poles, and the snap with the slots from the Jordan 6 model. Um, then around the back here, you'll see that you have the poles to get the shoe onto your foot from the Jordan 9 model. Now, when we made this batch with the Jordan 9, this is a higher calorie uh, finished product. Today we're going to show you how to make a lower calorie version. So instead of using the Jordan 9, we're going to bump it down to the Jordan 7. Two numbers lower, two calories less. <laughs> Same basic look, less calories. Exactly. So to start with the ingredients from bottom to top, um, the bottom of the shoe is the Jordan 3. So we have all our ingredients set up out here. We have um, some hot sauce and some red pepper flakes because we want this finished product to be heated and hot. We want this to be hot on heated fire. Um, we have some spices and some cucumber because cucumber settles, you know, the stomach and stuff like that. And oils, you know, we got to get things flowing right. right. And um, some baking soda because when we're done with these, it's going to be crack. <laughs> also, we have, oh, um, I did these. No, no, it's okay. Also, we, you need a big mixing bowl, a whisk, some tongs, uh, a cutting knife, and a cutting board. So starting from the bottom, the Jordan 3, you want to take your Jordan 3, wrap it in aluminum foil, and put it in a either a full-size oven, but we just like to use the toaster oven because... It's more um, convenient. Yeah, that and we're kind of hood, and we don't really cook on an oven. <laughs> we kind of cook everything in a toaster oven. Pretty much. Uh, or a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up from the bottom, we have the Jordan 4 wing. So we have a Jordan 4 model right here um, that I'm going to be dicing up and using the pieces off to create that piece of the shoe on the stick. When we're all done with all these things, we're going to put them all into this pot and boil, bring it to a boil to cook everything together to make another batch of these. So while you're cutting that up, I'm going to describe what's next in the line. Next the time. The fresh has got some mad nice skills. He's like a friggin' ninja. So now that the Jordan 4 is all diced up and ready to go, we're going to um, put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes uh, to chill it. Chill it. Chill it. Let it gel up and coagulate Thicken before up. we uh, add it to the pot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so do that. <laughs> Gotta handle it like a baby. Put that right in there. Alright, so now the next step is, um, I think our... Jordan 3 is about done, so we're going to take that out and get that ready to go. Good tool, sir. Thank you. Put safety first. Before I put these ingredients in, the next thing we need... Oh, perfect uh, timing. Perfect timing, there we go. The next thing we need is from the 6, we need the whole tongue. That's the only thing we need from this beautiful shoe. I'm going to put this in there. Let's take this off. Wow. Add a little hot sauce. That's spicy smelling. <laughs> Alright. All right. So now inside here we got um, 40 minutes on 350. We have this Jordan 3. Beautiful Jordan 3. Um, we're going to start adding our ingredients into the bowl to get a, a nice simmer going. Really, really a hot shoe. And wow. It looks very hot. Okay, let's um, and then, and then you want to stir it sporadically throughout the rest of the uh, the time here. And then after you're done with each step, you want to clean up because you don't want a dirty kitchen. A clean kitchen is a clean meal. Give it a little stir. We want we want to stir that sporadically. 
Alright, so up next you want to add the uh, the Jordan 4. I think it's been coagulated yeah. enough now. So you're going to um, work on mixing all that? And... Yes, the 6. I'm going to stir in some more ingredients okay. and just get up. Alright. While he's doing that, I'm going to give him another stir because I just added that uh, 4 in there. Alright, All right. now I think we can go ahead and add the five. Okay. Alright. Alright, and now that that's all done, Judge Hiss, you want to step aside? Yeah. I'm gonna pour in the Jordan 6 now that it's been all uh, whisked, and whisked into place. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get it. Alright. And now we have the, the Jordan 3, the 4, and we have the 5 and the 6. Oh, let me. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kind of watch it because it will thicken up pretty, pretty fast. So you gotta mix it. You don't want it to boil over. Right. Totally. You lose one aglet, the whole project's done. done. So now we've added the Jordan three, the wing for the four, the upper from the five, and the tongue from the six. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the lace off. Lace off. So basically, last all we need is the Jordan seven. Basically, just for this piece in the back, the pull tab. All right. So um, now that we have all the ingredients in the pot, we just want to get it to a nice stir here. Clean up your areas as you go. Okay. Now basically you just want to let it, let it come to a boil um, and then you want to drain all the water out, which we're going to do here. We already have our, our drain here on the sink. And then we're basically going to dump it right out here, um, just like this pair here. So we'll have two pairs. Same exact color, and we'll show you how that goes. So. I think it's about finished. Um, basically, they should look just like this. All right. Wow. Smells great. Um, something ain't right. No, everything's right. No. Yeah. It looks nothing like the first one. Okay. All right, so it looks like we uh, maybe missed something, maybe did an ingredient wrong or something. Um, I'm going to pull out, I guess, what we have for now. Is that all right? All right, well, now we're going to take them out. Um, all right, so something seems to have gone wrong. The six come there, the five is here, the yeah. three on the bottom. There's no wings. The wing for the four is missing. Yeah. Did you add the Jordan four? No. Why not? <laughs> I added the Yeezy. A Yeezy instead yeah. of the four? Well, that explains the black color. I thought we burnt it. Not at all. I guess we could try them. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Looks like we did a great job, right? What's up, YouTube? I'm not even over there. Get over here. Come on, you rough neck. It doesn't even match. I just got it. What's up, YouTube? Adam DeFresh here. Uh, really, really, really exciting pickup. This is my first Nike ID ever. Today I got with me. Brother Chris. Josie Hits. Me. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. It's Monster Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna review my Nike ID Solar Red.
I was gonna, but I'm not. Couldn't find anything in that. So there was two things that I've always wanted to do. Two. I've always wanted to, number one, one. do a Nike ID, and I've always wanted, number two, two. the Solar Yeezy 2. F Yeezy. I will never pay even close to what they call a good deal is for a Yeezy. If you know me and you've been following me over time, I say over and over again, I'm not a crazy fan of the Yeezy model, but the things that I am a fan of are the bells and whistles that come with the Yeezy. I'm a big fan of glow-in-the-dark bottoms. I'm a big fan of those aglets, the way they screw on like that. That's really cool in my opinion. And out of all the Yeezys, um, I did try to get the Red October, but no big deal. That's a Vinny shoe. Red. Out of all the shoes, the Yeezy 2 Solar Red, that colorway to me is a nice clean colorway. Not specifically that model, I repeat, but the colorway of that shoe is what I like. I love the Spizike. I have a big a big love for that shoe. I love how there's all different models in one and it's all of a lot of my favorite model Jordans all together in one. I feel that the Spizike is a comfortable shoe on foot and when I saw that they had it set up where I could do what I wanted with a Yeezy colorway or a Solar Red colorway in the Spizike, I jumped on it and ordered it and said it's about time I do my first Nike ID. And with my hate and um, if you want to call me bitter or salty for never being able to grab a Yeezy, I feel like this isn't Yeezy shoe. This is my shoe. Say what? Say what? When DeFresh first got these, he sent me a picture of him. And I was a little, I was a hater on it. Not hating like I wanted them, I just, I wasn't feeling them at all. And then when I finally went over to his house, checked them out, saw the work he put into it, I fell in love with them. I'm not a huge fan of Kanye at all, so I'm not on his mm, like other people are. His shoes are real dope. This is not an easy, but I think he did a great job IDing. I always, always, always wanted to ID a shoe. Uh, DeFresh beat us all to it. This was a great idea to change the Spizz like to a Yeezy color, because the Spizz like is just one of the best. It's pretty much like, a greatest hit of all Jordans because it's like most of them combined. So to ID one of those is just like an all around good idea. If you got this far into the video, you already saw our intro. I, we put a lot of time and thought when we talked about doing an ID like this. I had to get all the extra pieces and add-ons to do this. So we figured we might as well put the extra time in and do a really good intro on it. I wanted the intro to be sort of a knowledgeable teaching lesson on what the Spizz like actually is, but sort of in a fun way. And I think um, we did that. I think it was fun and it kind of explains what is a Spizzite. One of the things that I'm not that crazy about the Spizzite is the wings on the side when they put that wing on the side from the Jordan 4. I feel that it kind of resembles a boot when that wing is on there. The first thing I did when I got this shoe from Nike ID was cut the wing off the side. I just drug a razor down it, scored it over and over until the wing just fell off. I love the Jordan 5 and the, the cleanness of the side of the Jordan 5, so I feel like it looks a little more clean. But if you're curious of what it looked like before that, I do still have them and this is what it was like before that. Um, I just straight ran a razor down the wing until it just fell off. So a lot of people are asking me when I upload pictures of these and share them a little bit um, where I got the extra pieces. I know that there's companies that sell the aglets to add on other shoes, but they're um, a price effective way to get the pieces I wanted to do this was, and I don't rock replicas, I don't purchase replicas, but I did buy the cheapest, lowest grade, crappy model of the fake replica Yeezy. For the simple fact that the pieces I added to this from that are the aglets, the laces are from the Yeezy, this lace lock here, and you'll see that the lace lock does not have a number two underneath it because it, it's not from an authentic shoe, and the insoles. I put the insoles from the fake Yeezys in these shoes to add a little flair. Nobody will ever see them when my feet are in them, but I feel like it completes it. So if I really wanted to be crazy, I could put these shoes in the bag and say I got my Yeezy Spizzike or whatever. Or if I ever did want to sell them, it is like a complete kit, you know, like it is the Yeezy. It does have the extra black aglets if I want to put those on, but I do prefer the gold. But the Spizzike from Nike ID comes with a regular black insole with the Nike ID logo there. It does come with the lace lock so you can customize any color you want that I don't run on these. And it does come with one set of flat laces, which I just ordered black. Now I have an extra pair of Jordan laces on deck. The um, entire upper is a soft new buck. Midsole is black. It has the gloss paint there. Air unit on the inside is also black. It has a black pull on the back. Basically everything on the shoe is black. The Spizzike is made up of several different Jordan models. Midsole and the outsole from the Jordan 3, where this would be elephant print on the Jordan 3. Then it has the upper from the Jordan 5 with the five windows on the inside and the out. The Jordan 6 tongue that goes straight through. 
with the you know the snap piece where the laces go underneath which I didn't put the laces through and it has the Jordan 9 backside here to put the shoe onto your foot. All those shoes put together as like a Frankenstein makes the Spizike model. And to finish the um, Spizike in a Yeezy colorway or that solar red colorway that I think is really clean that I like a lot. I did the whole inner in uh, solar red and the entire bottom of the shoe, the whole outsole is that glow in the dark green. Um, I haven't worn these out yet. I've worn them around the house. I did test these and they glow really well. Really well. See where the rubber goes up, it's black. So I always wondered, you know, if this is painted on or what. So I figured this is my shoe. I want to see if I can get that black off, maybe some lacquer thinner. I did what I could to try to get this off to see if it was possible that this green traveled all the way up to this edge here. I hit it with some light grit sandpaper and just to see what happens. And what they must do is when they, when they make these shoes, they must have the green glow in the dark rubber and they mold it to the black rubber because there's no paint here in this section. And I sanded this down. You can see this wavy line. This is where the two rubbers that are solid through that color meet together. So I couldn't get this to be green all the way up here. It brought it up this line right here is where it was stopping. It brought it up a little bit to get a little more glow out of it, but it's not even all the way around. But I just had to know. To me, if you don't try things, you wonder forever. So I had to know. If you like the Spizike, go on Nike ID. Build your own. They're cool. If you like it, build it. If you build it, they will come. I was never really into Spizikes until uh, DeFresh built this one. I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the quality of them. I'm definitely, definitely going to ID something very soon. I don't know. It's just an all-around, it's a really clean shoe. DeFresh did an awesome job at uh, designing them like he always does at all his design work. I think that if you take the fun out of things, then it's not fun anymore, obviously. So IDs are fun. It gives you a chance to be creative. Today we showed you the Nike ID Spizike Solar Red. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Adam DeFresh, I'm out. Brother Chris, see ya. As always, Jersey Hits. I'll see you next time. So damn it's Vinny. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>